I have a problem. I was getting ready to film an entirely different video when I realized I was almost out of drive space on my drive C. So I thought I would take this opportunity to show you one tool I use to free up drive space. Let's get into it. All right, I have showed this tool on my channel before more than once, and it is a tool by Microsoft. But hey, if it works, it works. The tool is called PC Manager. I'm not going to go into the entire setup or walkthrough of the program. I'll link a video below of where I've done that previously so you can view that video. One thing that I do want to point out though is for some reason, this program is not available to everyone. Every time I've mentioned this program on my channel, I've always gotten a couple of comments where they went to the website and they said the tool wasn't available. So for whatever reason, it's not available in every region. That's a Microsoft thing, nothing I can do about that. But I will show you here in real time that as of the filming of this video, like always, it's available to me. So I'll jump over to Google real quick and show you where it's located. But first, I wanna share some exciting news about the channel. Now that the channel's just over a year old, I've decided to take it to that next level and enable channel memberships. Now, of course, you can subscribe and it's completely free and I hope that you do. But in addition to that, if you want to help support the channel, you can become a paid member for less than a cup of Starbucks. With that, you'll get priority responses to your comments because as the channel gets bigger, it's gotten to the point to where I can't respond to every comment. You'll also get other perks along the way, like members only content, early access to videos, and direct access to me through email. So if you have some questions or problems or need some consulting, you can access me directly through email as a paid member. I will also continue to add more perks. So please consider becoming a member, but if not, that's okay. But make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel really helps me grow the channel and get me to that goal of 50,000 subscribers. Thank you, and let's get back to the video. From Google, I'm just gonna type in PC Manager. I'll click on this first link here, and as you can see right here on my screen, it is available, Microsoft PC Manager. I'm gonna click the download button. It's gonna direct me to the Microsoft Store. And now I already have it on my PC, so for me it says open. For you, this would say get now or download, something to that effect. On second thought, because someone will say you already had it downloaded and it's no longer available, I'm going to hop over to a different computer and download PC Manager. Okay, from a completely different PC, I'm going to go to PC Manager. And from the Microsoft Store, I'm going to click Download. You can see that that has downloaded up here in the top right hand corner. I'm going to click on that installer. I'm going to click yes on the user account control. And as you can see, Microsoft PC Manager is downloading. I'll skip forward until that is complete. The downloading is complete and it is now installing. And it's now opening Microsoft PC Manager. And welcome to Microsoft PC Manager. I'm gonna uncheck the box to automatically start Microsoft PC Manager. Another thing to note here is you don't have to have a Microsoft account to use this. And as you can see, this is a different computer and it is running Microsoft PC Manager that I just downloaded. And I'm at 90% memory usage. That's crazy. Let's click boost and see what happens. Eh, drop me down to 74. Need to look more into that. But anyway, just wanted to show you. It's still available. Okay, so I just want to show you here me using it in real time, freeing up disk space. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up PC Manager here. All right, from the main screen here, there are a lot of things you can do, but what we are interested in specifically is freeing up some of that disk space. I'll show you again here. So this is my drive C that only has 32 gigs free of 472. Now this is my main C drive. I have a lot of large video files, but those are stored on D and E. But my programs and applications are installed on C, and those build up a lot of temporary files. And that's where PC Manager comes in. So, right here it says your PC has a lot of temporary files. Use Deep Cleanup to free up space. I'm going to go ahead and click Deep Cleanup. It's going to do a scan here now and tell me how much space it's going to clean up. 
All right, now it says a total of 108.9 gigabytes of items detected for cleanup. Well, let's just go through some of these. We got some system items, some application items, temporary Windows installation files, Windows widgets, and then it's also detected all of these applications that have temporary files that can be removed all the way down to the recycle bin. So I'm gonna go ahead and click proceed. And I'll fast forward till it gets through this process. One thing to note here, be careful when removing the application data because it could be some settings information stored in specific applications that you don't wanna get rid of. In my case, I'm getting rid of everything. Make good choices for yourself. All right, and we're back and it says it freed up 105.4 gigabytes of space. I'm gonna click done here. While we're in here, I'm gonna go ahead and click the boost. This typically just clears up temporary files, which we likely just did, but it still shows 100 megabytes here. I don't expect a big reduction from the 50%, but let's see. Now it took us down to 40% memory usage. Now there's one other tool in here that I would like to look at just because I'm freeing up space. If I come here under storage, I'm gonna come down here and look at duplicate files. It identifies files that are duplicated on your system so that you can remove those. Let's check this out real quick. Now I can actually have this one look at all disks, which I should do because I know on my storage drives that I have videos, there's probably a lot of duplicates. But right now I'm just gonna look at drive C. And it only found about 900 megabytes worth of duplicates. And you can select documents, pictures, compressed folders. So if I just switch over to videos, there are actually no videos. But what if I take a look at drive D? Let's see what that comes up with. And we've got about 1.8 gigabytes of duplicates. Let's take a look at drive E. There we go. On drive E, I've got about 20.6 gigabytes of duplicate files that I could get rid of. I'm not going to do that just yet. Those are backup drives. So I mainly just wanted to check drive C. And since it's not a large quantity, I'm not gonna worry about that for right now. But now if we take a look at my drive C, we have 107 gigabytes free of 472. Now I still got a lot of applications and things that I don't use anymore. I do a lot of demos on this computer, so I install a lot of applications that I don't end up using. So I definitely need to go back and clear up some of those. But at least with 107 gigabytes of free space, I'm not in danger of running out right now and I can move on to creating my videos. And there you have it. I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration in real time of a tool that I have reviewed on this channel before that I actually do use. And it was a quick fix to free up some hard drive space before I ran out. Obviously there's more work to be done there. Let me know your thoughts. Drop me a comment below. Also drop me a comment for any future videos you would like to see. Do me a favor, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is free as always, but if you would like to go to that next level and help support the channel, you can also become a member, so check that out as well. Make sure you check out some of these other video suggestions, and as always, thank you for watching, and until next time. Okay. No.